Suppose that we have two rails carrying a current of opposite charge. They are connected. A movable conductor is placed on those two rails. A magnetic field exists between the two rails. If the bars are a length L apart, and we move the rod with a velocity V, how does the magnetic flux change as the rod moves down the rail? We know that magnetic flux is equal to the magnetic field multiplied by some area, cos theta, where cos theta gives us the angle to perpendicular. In this situation, cos theta is equal to 1, as the rod is perpendicular to the magnetic field. This means that our magnetic flux is equal to just our magnetic field multiplied by the area. In this situation, we have a constant magnetic field, but we have a changing area. This gives our change in magnetic flux is equal to the constant magnetic field by some change in area. As the rod moves at some velocity v, the distance that it travels is going to be equal to the velocity of it by some time. That gives our area A equal to the length multiplied by the distance, which is its velocity times time. Substituting this into the equation gives us, and rearranging this so that all our changes are on one side, gives So a change in magnetic flux in time is equal to the magnetic field multiplied by the length and the velocity that the change is occurring at. So now just rearranging the page so it's nice and neat and we can continue working. So now, how does the electric field change as the rod moves along the rail? With this one, we have a balance of forces. We have the electrical force of repulsion is going to be equal to the magnetic force pushing it along. By substituting those equations in, we get that the charge multiplied by the electric field is equal to the charge at some velocity inside of a magnetic field. We also know that the electric field is equal to the voltage divided by the separation between them. Substituting these things and cancelling out, we get that the voltage divided by the length is equal to the velocity multiplied by the magnetic field. This gives us the voltage is equal to the velocity times the length times the magnetic field. This is defined as EMF. As our definition of EMF, is equal to the velocity by the length by the magnetic field is the same as our derivation of the change in magnetic flux. Our EMF must then be equal to our change in magnetic flux. However, this is different to what we have written down previously, which was that the EMF is equal to minus N, our change in magnetic flux over a change in time. In our example, we used one wire, so now we have n multiples. The negative comes from Lenz's law, which we'll cover soon.